Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. And in the previous episode, guys, we went and did a little bit of some exploring here in Mele Mele Island. Just wanted to do the last bit of some other uh, side things here in Mele Mele, such as heading on over to the Halui Cemetery, grabbing out ourselves the Drift Bloom Encounter, which I did. I was originally supposed to be picking up a Mischievous, but I believe that is actually a nighttime encounter Pokemon to actually find there in the cemetery, but I didn't really want to be bothered about doing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is is that now I'm going to head on over to a call island here for today And that is what I'm going to be doing here uh, And uh, also as well, um, I think that's about everything that I'm going to do And then in the next episode, we should probably head on over to our first trial And uh, I think that should be Malo's trial I think that's like the first one I'm not too entirely certain, but I think I am right uh, but also, too, we are going to be learning about the uh, Mantine Surf thing, so that's going to be pretty cool about uh, here in Ultra Sun, because instead of us taking the boat uh, in normal Sun and Moon, we're actually going to be using Mantine instead. But we're going to do a little bit of a team recap here, uh, just so that we can get ourselves underway. So we got Vex in level 19 with Echo Voice, Aqua Jet, Baby Doll Eyes, and Icy Wind. Kyla at level 14 with Gust, Super Sonic Bite, and Absorb. Sparky at level 16 with Spark, Bug Bite, Mudslap, and Bite, and Balboa at level 12 with Lear, Sand Attack, Bite, and Howl. And Gumball at level 9 with Constrict, Minimize, Astonish, and Gust. So that is basically everybody on the team. And let's go and make our way on over to the Mantine Surf stage. Yes, let's go and use our super fast speed to make our way down here. And also, too, hope you guys are having yourself a good Saturday as well, too. And uh, so, yeah, I, I believe now since we actually do have 10 totem stickers, we should be at least able to actually grab our first actual totem Pokemon from Samson Oak. And uh, I believe we actually are going to get introduced to actually uh, Samson Oak as well, too. I think that's what his name is or he's, or, or he's something else. Because I know that he's like a cousin of like Professor Oak, but. Yeah, it's, OK, so they just call him Oak. So, uh, yes, yeah, Totem Pokemon is why they're so large. That's what they get over Burning Aurora. So, I do. Okay, so, first of my point. In that case, I'll tell you this. Uh, if you collect all certain stickers for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, he just basically tells us about the certain amount of stickers that we need to do. So, we need to find 20 stickers uh, for him. So, at least, uh, we just need to find 10 more. And uh, also as well, uh, while we're heading on over to a call island, I think we are going to be uh, learning about the different uh, Zygar cells as well. And uh, I remember actually doing those Zygarde things, and I remember I got all the way up to, I think, up to like 50% more with Zygarde, and I think uh, you have to do something else to actually get up to like perfect Zygarde form, and I don't really know exactly on how you do it. I think you have to find like more, uh, more cells like around, um, around the Alola region. But I'm not too certain on that. But, uh, so yeah, now we get to learn a little bit of some of the Manti Surf stuff. Uh, which I actually have to say, I actually do like, uh, the Manti Surf feature a, uh, a lot more than, uh, than here in the, uh, Sun and Moon where you just actually get to ride the boat. Because, uh, I believe, uh, you actually get, like, certain, like, amount of beast points. And you are able to get some really cool, awesome items for your Pokemon. Like, for, like, competitive-wise and also, uh, get some nice TMs as well, too. And the TMs aren't, aren't, aren't really all that too bad, because I believe the TMs are like kind of like the same exact TMs I think that you would find over at um, o uh, Alpha and Omega in the in that game. Because uh, if you go to like the to like that battle island or whatever, you could like get some pretty nice good uh, items there. Like uh, I think it's like um, oh, I forget what I forget the the that one move in particular. Where it's like a poison type move and you can uh and it only has like five pp on it but i know that you can actually get one of those moves there but yeah now it's time to learn us about how to get airborne so just need to just do one boost over here as quickly as possible and then we should be able to fly all the way up top nice so that is how we clear lesson number two so there's different lessons here that we have to go through just to get ourselves all situated so now we actually have some uh, different moves here but I'm not too entirely certain if um, you can get other moves instead, instead of just having the Hunt Tail Spiral and the Gorbis Spiral. But, uh, that's how you do it. And we also get ourselves the landing bonus here. So now it's all about how to land now. Which we've already been doing that recently, and I don't know why they have to tell us about this step as well, too. Well, let's just do a flip, and then we'll just land. Pretty simple. 
and we cleared out that and now I think we should be able to now uh, actually head down to our route that we need to be and let's see how much points I could get uh, while heading on over to Akala because I think last time I I think uh, when I played this game by myself originally I think I got up to like 10,000 points I think but uh, while we're doing this here um, and uh, getting all these certain amount of points uh, let me know in the comments down below is uh, what is your uh, high score that you've gotten on uh, on Manti Surf so far for the comment question of the day all right now we got ourselves a big wave so hopefully with enough power that I have I can do some flips oh yeah let's do it as quickly as possible oh Kind of botched that one a little bit, but not to worry. It's not going to screw up on our combos or anything. It's just that it's just going to put a halt on our uh, on our point grabbing. But I think if you get up to like 10,000 points, I think you can actually. Uh, oh no, the tentacles! Oh, they they blocked me from trying to do what I need to do there. Some more flips around here. Nice landing bonus. Okay, so now we should be able to fly up in the air a lot higher now. Nice, we landed it again. And the boost is still activated even though that we landed it. Come on, let's go to another 1,000. Oh. I thought we could keep, uh, keep that train going. Just keep that boost just still being activated, but no, we kind of screwed that one up. Alright, so the finish line is almost here. Can I get it in one more shot? Oh, too late. But nice, we have gone up to 7,000 points, so not bad. That's not a bad start. I know that most of you guys may have probably already have like bigger points than I do. Because uh, I think if we get up to, I think, like, over past maybe 6,000 or maybe 8,000, we should be able to get at least, like, uh, two beach points uh, for doing this. So, pretty nice. Pretty nice good start. I know that two beach points don't really do us jack, <laughs> but uh, at least uh, later on, if we ever want to come back to this, at least we can start uh, building up more beach points. So yeah, now we actually have to go and speak on over to Mallow and Olivia here now, since we did make it to Akala, which I have to say, Akala is actually, um, a, uh, is one of my favorite, uh, areas here, uh, in this game as well. But the one thing that I don't really like about Akala is, um, Mallow's Trial. Uh, for me personally, I'm not all that too big on fetch quests, because I know that, like, in, like, Final Fantasy and, like, Chrono Trigger and all those games, those are all fetch quest games, but... It's just that I'm kind of growing out a little bit tired of like like doing like random fetch quests and stuff, so not all that too big on that. that I don't really like that trial, but I really like the other rest of the trials here, though. But the battle with uh with the uh, uh what's it the the Lurantis, though that that fight is actually pretty insane. Even it, even just doing that battle, even vanilla is like actually insane. I remember. Um, doing the the moon randomizer and i think i've already told you guys this before but you guys if you uh yeah so if you haven't seen the nuzlocke or, uh i recommend you guys going and checking that out because uh that was actually pretty crazy because we actually had to fight out the totem lorantis and then also there was like a cast form that was uh that, that turned into like a fire cast form and it just did weather ball and it did like a lot of damage on all my grass type pokemon and it was just not good i think i also have pokemon that were also steel type too which that was also another big problem I think I had like a lair on us or something on my team. But there's Olivia and also Mallow. So I was on my way to see who was pulling out into the ports and uh, ran into Mallow here while she was out on delivery. Yeah, but my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients to make up your team so shine. Uh, and especially you two, your Pokemon look ready to, to uh, cook with gas. What are you trying to say there, Mallow? Are you trying to say that you want to cook up my Pokemon? That's not good. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Uh, okay, then, so enjoy your time on the Island Challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I remember doing that, uh, like, Kahuna battle with Olivia in the original Sun and Moon game, and she was actually, uh, pretty tricky with her, uh, with her nighttime form, Lycanroc. That, 
that one was like quite quite annoying. I think I lost to her uh, when when I played the game uh, for the first time. So I'm sure that she wanted me to come and see that uh, she made it right, uh, all right. Uh, but she'll never admit to you. That's Olivia for you. She's the kind of kahuna deep down. So uh, there are three trials on, on the island here, which we already know about that Kukui. So thanks for the heads up there. And yeah, how is all about him and his now nah, sad is all the time. He's not. I don't think how, uh, how is is like it's like all up in there. To do like all the trials, I think he is more hungry to eat more malasadas than do the trial challenge like we are. But there's Cosmog and Lily. So are you looking for the ruins? Yes, this little fellow was hardly still. I think Nevi might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Ah, so the ruins of life. Isn't that where Tepu Lele or somebody is living here? I can't remember. I know that there's like, like four different islands that you can find all the different Tapus. But hopefully that Tapu can probably help out Lily with, uh, with Cosmog here. But I'm really intrigued to see uh, how this whole. Um, like teleporting from like or, or, or like doing like random time traveling stuff from like uh, warping into like different like sections of the game now that's gonna be pretty interesting to see um, when we actually get to that point because then we can do like all the ultra beast encounters and all of that and that should be really fun so yeah we actually do have to head up here though and this is where we're gonna be meeting up with Dexio and Cena and I don't know who I'm gonna be sending out I may probably just leave Vexen in because I think that just may be the only choice that I have because like this fight's gonna be pretty annoying and I think I may probably die here because because I believe you do actually have to fight out uh, Dexio and Cena but I don't think Cena actually fights you just yet but we have to fight out Dexio first I remember fighting them and battling them over at the uh, X and Y game but their Pokemon are a little bit different now, I think. Yes, let's do this battle, man. Uh, this may probably be another death here. I don't know. It just seems like Pokemon Ultra Sun is like literally destroying me, man. Like I was just about to go down with the Kahuna, with Kahuna Hala, a few episodes back, and then like also now we may probably die here by Dexio. <laughs> um. I'll try an Icy Wind. I don't know if Icy Wind is going to do that much to a Mr. Mine, but... Or, or not Mr. Mine, I mean Mine Jr. It lowers the speed, but I don't think it's going to do the job that I want it to do, unfortunately. I'll set up another Icy Wind, though. I'll try and make it lower its speed. It's just a Mime Jr. I don't think it's going to do anything too crazy. It's just going to be setting up confusions, which I know that I'm going to probably get confused at some point. But I think if, if I just land out uh, a few more Icy Winds, we should be okay. And there we go. Mime Jr. is down. So not too bad of a knockout there. Nice. And Gumball is now at level 10, so that's not too bad either. But here comes up the Espeon. Now, um... I'll set up into Sparky, I think, and I'll start using Mud Slaps so I can start lowering the, es the, the Espeon's uh, accuracy because I know that this fight's going to probably get a little bit hectic here. So I'm going to make sure to set up a lot of Mud Slaps. So here goes out a side beam. Now that could do some damage. Ouch. Okay, so that's going to hopefully lower the accuracy. And I'm just gonna set up some uh, some super potions, and we'll try to play this out a little bit safe, because I know that this Espeon is gonna do quite a bit of damage, and hopefully it can miss. Okay, nice. So I'll miss the attack. I'm just gonna keep on setting up mud slaps, and that should just basically do the thing here. Okay, set up another mud slap. Nice. Okay, so we just lowered it down again. 
and I'll set up one more super potion, so hopefully it can miss out on our side beam. I think side beam has like 15 PP, so let's have another one, dude. Just get out of here. Stop doing that much damage. I just want Espeon to just to at least miss again, but I I'll set up one more super potion. We only have like five of these. But I'm pretty certain that I think Espeon should at least miss one more time, and then I'll do one more, uh, one more mud slap. Oh, come on, man. Why do you have to not miss? Ouch. And that was a critical, too. I think we may probably have to lose out on a Pokemon here, and I think I have to set out into Balboa. Because, like, I think if I just send out, um... Vexen, we should be able to- ooh, okay, nice, we missed the attack, avoid the attack, now we just set up with sand attack then, nice, keep on lowering that accuracy, keep on doing it, uh. ouch, ouch, yeah, you did your best, Bobo, I'm sorry, I know that this SBO is going to be a pro- oh my god, okay, you annoy controller. All I want to do is just land out Vexen out here. Okay, so we just set up a sand attack. I'm going to land out- I should set up a baby doll ice just so that I can lower its attack. There we go. Just so that side beam doesn't have to do that much damage because like it's doing so much insane amount of damage. Okay, I don't think it's gonna kill us, but I'm gonna set up one more, uh, one more baby doll eyes. Hopefully, Sybeam can lower it just a little bit. Uh, oh god. Well, that just destroyed us. I think Vexa has to take over. Uh, I know that we have a revive now, which we should. Yeah, we actually have two of these, so I'm going to set one on Vex in here. But if the side B misses, and if it doesn't do a lot of damage, oh, this is not good at all. I can't believe this Espeon is doing this amount of scene of damage. Okay, we need to heal up. Hopefully... Sybeam can miss again. Oh my god, no. Are we actually gonna get another death here? Like, what the heck? Like, Sun and Moon is just absolutely insane with these fights. I would love to set up one more baby dies and see what I can do. And just try to hopefully at least lower Sybeam down more. Okay, now that's not too, too bad. I'm gonna set up some icy ones. Alright, this should get us into somewhat of a clear area now, hopefully. Alright, lowering down the speed. Nice, we're avoiding out the attacks more. Ugh, it's all about setting up, dude, because, like, literally, this is what, legitimately, what Sun and Moon is all about, is just setting up because these freaking. Wi-Fi battlers out here, man. Like, I swear. It's like, Nintendo, like, boosted these freaking NPCs to, like, make sure that they become competitive. I'm never the type of guy to actually, like, set up, but, like, they kind of, like, force you to actually, like, set up on them. There we go. Get your butt out of here there, Dexio. Come on, man. Yes, we are going to take care of Vexen because uh, he did the job for us. I hope to God we don't find out Cena right after this because like, I'm not even ready. Mm. Okay, so Grubbin is fine and ouch, I just banged my, uh, <laughs> banged my mic there, but... Uh, no, that's not the right, correct tool. Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah. So let's just uh, take care of our Grubbin, take care of Sparky here for the time being. Just want to make sure that he's going to be fine. Nice. 
So I just got uh, myself the uh, ultimate pack two. I have never uh, seen. Uh, well, well, I haven't really uh, checked out and see if there's any characters that are unlocked right now because I know that Min Min or whatever her name is from uh, from Arms is now uh, is now the brand new character. But I don't know if she is already out now or if she's um, or or if I have to wait. But uh, it should be pretty cool to uh, actually uh, try out that Pokemon, and uh, at least now we're fully healed now. And we actually got ourselves some forest stores. Maybe training yourself up a bit on Route 4 will help you understand your Pokemon a bit, even a bit better. Or how about you stop becoming a Wi-Fi battler there, Dexio? <laughs> and then we can actually make this, make this game a little bit easier. So, yeah, so he basically healed up our Pokemon. So we are basically okay for right now. Uh, I should probably buy out some more super potions because I know that we're going to be in one heck of a problem if we don't ever buy out any super potions. So let me just go and quickly do that here. We actually have like quite a bit of money, so perfectly fine with that. We need some revives too, but it seems like we don't have any revives right now at the moment. And I think that second mark guy actually has the other special uh, Pokeballs. He has like the, um, yeah, so this guy's basically blocking our way because we need to go and take a whole other different pathway, unfortunately. I think we would still be able to head into that house because there's like a, a totem sticker there. But I think there's actually, um, hold on. Before I go and take care of this route here. I believe there's actually a totem sticker right on front of this building of course because like any time any time that you see like a building or something that seems a little bit different then you know that there's gonna be a ton of sticker somewhere yep there's actually gonna be two so nice got ourselves two total stickers and we also got ourselves a beachside area but I'll check that one out a little bit later I think that one has like the Puka uh, the, the Piku uh, Muku event or whatever they have to do with like capturing a whole bunch of Piki Muku and uh, tossing them in back into the sea. Ah, uh, Piki Pack. But these Pokemon should be able to actually evolve here at some point, right? Because like Piki Pack's at like level 12, and I think like uh, to get the um, to get the evolution, it's like at like level 16 or 20. There you go, not bad, a great ball. I'm gonna try and dodge out most of these trainers because I am gonna do some off record battling after this. Another peaky pick. Okay. Well, we only have one more Pokemon uh, to get on our team, and I don't know who am I going to be putting on here, because uh, I've already gotten Rock Rough, so I'm happy with that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, probably hit an item here. Yep, another tiny mushroom. Wow, we're going to be getting so much money from this. We got big mushrooms, tiny mushrooms. We have everything in between. She a trainer? No, she's not. Alright, now I just need to try and figure out how I need to grab this item from here. I think we just hop on down here like so. Oh, I think Lana's uh, trial is here in, in a call up, if I remember correctly as well. I think that's our very first one that we need to take care of, don't we? Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the Howl fight that we have to go and take care of. Um, Should we do it? Is our Pokemon going to be okay for this fight? We should. We should be okay for this fight, because I'm going to do this fight, and then I'm just going to call it apart then. Alright, there's going to be a classic hoedown here in the, uh, in the country, in, in this, uh, country folk area. So yeah, let's do this battle out. I'm ready. Got our two evolution starters to do this. Oh, and he quickly healed us up here as well, too. All right, let's do it. Now, um, I know that in Ultra Sun uh, and also in Ultra Moon, there is also a lot of the uh, these other side quest missions that you can also do in this part. And I believe there's a uh, there's actually one here in Ultra Sun that I do remember that you can't actually do a battle here with Team Skull again because you have to rescue some sort of Pokemon. I think it's like a Lolan Volpix or something, I, or I'm not I'm not too certain. But, uh, we got an Aqua Jet here, so let's go and set it up. Oh, nice. Oh, no, here we go. We got the, uh, the Z-Crystal for the, uh, for the Fire ZM. 
Oh, oh right, yeah, you're also part fighting, I think, Arthur. So you got the breakneck blitz. Doesn't really do that much damage, so I am fine with all that. No, Breknik Blitz, I think that's actually um, a normal type uh, ZM move. Or no, it could be fighting. Yeah, I think it's fighting. Uh, we also got Pikachu, uh, so let's switch out into Sparky, because we only have only one super effective move out here. <laughs> this could be our Mud Slaps, unfortunately. Even though that Mud Slap is not really the best move right now at this type of stage that we're at. But at least it's gonna start lowering its accuracy. Uh, it still does decently well. Not as what I hope for, not like a mud bomb or something, but... Really? That's not gonna touch me that well. Okay, I think I could live one more hit. So I'm going to set up one more must lap. Oh, nice. Okay, so we avoid the attack there. Just keep on making this Pikachu lose out of its accuracy. That's the only best way that I can do this right now. Uh, is this Ledger Ball going to hit me? Or kill me? No, we're still good. Okay, so we do have some Super Potions, so I will heal up now. Not even gonna even worry about using my full restore because I would like to keep that for when the Elite Four actually does happen. Uh, another electric ball. Wow, really? I thought this electric ball would actually miss because, like, I literally hit like four different mud slaps at you, Pikachu. How are you still hitting moves? Like, you should at least not be hitting moves anymore. All right, there we go. And there we go, Gumball's now at level 12. And here comes out the pesky Noi Noi bat, and I'm actually gonna keep on battling here. Because we do have the uh, the, uh, the spark to do that move. And I know that this could get a little bit scary though as well too, because of how... Uh, I think you actually have wing attack on you, so I could probably switch out. Okay, so Tackle doesn't do that much, but I'm going to see how much a Spark does. It's only effective. Okay, so I may probably have to switch out then. Yep, so let's just go and switch out because... That should work with the Icy Wind. Okay, Icy Wind, that should at least... Hopefully knock you out with one hit. Oh, come on, man. You have to flip, literally flinch me. Screw off. It's a good thing that I have uh, this Quick Claw, though. To just, like, help me out when, when that annoying stuff happens. Nice. So now Sparky's now at level 18. And we also have an Eevee coming out, too. Unfortunately, I don't really have any type of fighting type moves, though. I have to wait until Rock Rough uh, becomes a Lycan Rock. What the heck? How what? Why? Okay, so you're almost about to go down. Just gonna heal up once more. My God! How long is this? battle gonna be man all right here we go one more icy one should probably do the trick okay or we're just gonna have this then or my attack is just gonna just be not good at all no more baby doll eyes get out out of here all right now this should I this should actually work in our favor Oh, yes, nice, and it was a critical too. And see you later, Eevee. Nice, and Bubble is now at level 14, and Gumball is now at level 13. Focus energy. Um, let's see. 
Well, we can actually take out Constrict because I don't really need that, but uh, I would like to have the other um, the other move that was on there, the other normal move. Have that minimized though, because that's going to be very nice and handy. Okay, so man, that was some kind of battle. Torcat and everybody all looked like they had a blast too. So right then, here I'll show, uh, share my bit of good luck with you, Prox. Oh, a dire hit. Eh. I don't really use x items all that much. But x items do sell out for a nice good, uh, with nice good money, though, too. Alright, guys, so I'm going to end off this episode here for today. In the next one, we are going to continue our way, uh, throughout, uh, throughout this section. And hopefully we can make it on over to Malo's trial, which I believe that is going to be the first of the trials that we're going to be doing. And, uh, that should be, uh, really cool to do. And, uh, yeah, with them, uh, oh yeah, and also too, guys, don't forget about the comment question of the day, which the comment question of the day is going to be is, uh, what is your, uh, highest, uh, score on the Mantine Surf? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys then, and peace.